Okay, so we've got our snapper head. Um, finally got the 20 pound snapper, so um, got a jaw worthy of mounting in my eyes. So yeah, it should be a good one. So get your get your head. Um, you're gonna bake it. Um, you can bake it or boil it. Uh, I've heard baking seems to be the easiest. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna wrap it in tin foil and, and whack it in the oven on about 150. Um, for as long as it takes really until it's all soft and uh, we can pick all that meat off, um, eat the meat. Um, it's a good thing about baking it and then um, yeah we'll get the draw out later. We'll get to that when we get there. Alright. Got our snapper head wrapped up. Put the oven preheated and we're just going to work them in. Alright, so let's do it thing and uh, come back later and, and take it apart. Okay, so we've had the snapper heat it in the oven for about uh, 50 minutes, 45 50 minutes. Um, you can come over a lot and it's all that meat's all cooked. We'll pick out all that meat, so that's all good eating. Plenty of meat in these, these big snapper heads. Kind of all fish heads in general. Um, so we'll pick all that good eating stuff out and um, do some of that tomorrow for lunch. But um, you see it's all separating away and we can you see the jawbone there. Um, so we're just going to Pick away, clean all this other stuff off, and um, get these jaw bones out, and then we'll clean them up. So I've um, taken that, that head apart and grabbed um, all the bones and whatnot out of there. Um, see, I've got the two pieces for the upper jaw, the chompers, and um, that's his lower jaw. Dirty, dirty, but we'll clean it all up and a um, whole lot of other pieces from his head. Not sure. I'll start with the jaw, but um, didn't realise his head is so big. Look at the skull on that thing. It's um solid, eh? So um, we'll see. I might put that whole that whole head together. Um, that'd be pretty cool. Um, can you actually see um where that where that notch where he'd been shot or she um earlier in life? You can actually just see the piece of the skull missing there, so that should have just been coming up there, so um, yeah, it's, it's really had some damage, but yeah, very cool, very cool, um, that's just the meat from from the head, like the cheeks, and um, around the tops of the eyeballs and stuff, so it's pretty impressive, a ton of meat off the big fish, so um, yeah, not much wasted in there, just the eyeballs, but um, not too, not too worried about that, um, so yeah, pretty pretty cool. I'm gonna clean these up now and set them in some hydrogen peroxide to widen them up, and then um, yeah, put it together. Okay, so we've got all our pieces of the puzzle. We need to give them a clean. So let's get some more water. And you can see there's still you know bits of meat and, and all sorts of stuff in there. So the idea now is to just give it a really good scrub out all the bits and pieces um, to get it really clean. The cleaner you um, make them now, the better they're going to turn out. Um, after we give them a good scrub, we're going to get toothpicks and get right into all the cracks and just get every little bit of every little bit of meat and dirt out of that. Okay, we've finished cleaning up the jaws. Just gave them a really good scrub with some warm water and got right into the teeth um, to make sure there's nothing left in there um, which is going to you know, cause bacteria growth or stain the jaw so um, yeah it's actually come up real well really clean uh, I've got the two pieces of the top jaw cheekbones and, and other bits of the puzzle bits so yep cool we're gonna soak that now in some hydrogen peroxide um, 6% Pick this up from the chemist, any chemist 
you'll be able to get hands on this. Um, small little bottle, so maybe try and get a couple, but um, depends on how big your jaw is and whatnot. So we're going to soak that jaw for about an hour, um, get it nice and white, and um, that will also help with the bad smell and, and stuff like that. So yeah, let's do it. Okay, here we have the finished jaw. It's come up pretty well. Um, nice and white after soaking in that hydrogen peroxide and, and all glued together strongly. Um, doesn't stink too bad. Um, yeah, pretty happy with it overall. So just some tips on gluing it together. Get some super glue, um, like Loctite. 401 or 406, I can't remember which one I use, but something strong that will bond um, to kind of any material really fast because it can be a bit tricky gluing it together. Um, so how I did it was obviously your bottom jaws already in one piece naturally, so that's cool. So start on each side of the upper jaw, um, get get this this part of it there, that bone and um, that will just fit really nicely onto that top jaw so fit those on, glue that on on each side um, then get this kind of triangular shark tooth looking piece um, that just slots into that bottom jaw on each side um, really easily actually it just slots in, glue that in and then all you're left with is the whole top jaw section in the bottom jaw, um, which you can just tack on in the corner here, find where it sits nicely, choose the angle in, in which you want that jaw to be open, um, yeah, and tack that on in place. Once it's in position, just hold it there for 20 seconds or so until it tacks off, and then, um, yeah, chuck in the glue everywhere, really. Um, Put as much on as you want, get it really nice and strong, and that's it, all done. Um, gonna mount that on a piece of wood or or something like that. I might still do the whole the whole head, still yet to decide. But yeah, it's all pretty easy. Have a crack.